Good evening, guys. Uh, if you can't tell by the sound of my voice, it's really, really rough. Uh, my son, I guess, after his recent visit, uh, I think I ended up with a case of laryngitis, or something to that effect. But anyway, uh, I'm self-medicating with uh, lemon juice, honey, American-grown tea, and Gentleman Jack. Uh, so I decided if I was going to sound ridiculous, I might as well look ridiculous in this video. But I digress. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the SAM 7R. Uh, I used to have a SAM 7R when I was still married. Um, or well, at least I was actually living with my, my soon-to-be ex-wife. <clears throat> I apologize for the cough, but I'm better now. I just sound like, what was the woman from Monsters, Inc.? Mike Lebowski. That's pretty rough. But anyway, I picked this rifle up here recently. Uh, I got it for a very, very cheap price. Uh, normally, these go for almost $1,300. I got it for eight from one of my viewers. A uh, guy came up hard for cash. I asked him how much he wanted for it. I had just sold one of my rifles. And uh, it, that's the way it played out. Uh, so I literally just traded for rifles. Uh, this is a rifle that I really have enjoyed in the past. There are some issues with them that I don't like, but they're simple fixes. That being said, these are with intermediate length stocks. This gun is damn near nine pounds. It's heavy, but with it being a milled receiver rifle, it's almost like having a custom made gun because it's so smooth because you're not having to worry about the positioning of the trunnions. All that stuff's done. It's literally made on a, on a, you know, however Arsenal does it in Bulgaria. It comes over ready to go. <sighs> anyway, since I've had this rifle for about five or six days now, uh, I went ahead and swapped out the trigger group. I pulled the uh, ALG AKT out of my AK, our RD AK-74 and installed it onto this rifle. Uh, did a few modifications because arsenals typically with their rivets in the trigger guard, you have to shave the disconnector in the back and modify it to fit. That way it's not either shearing off the end of the disconnector or beating that rivet into a pulp. I'd rather not have those kinds of issues or the gun go down when I need it. <laughs> that being said, the sights on this rifle are most definitely canned. If you can see, the drum is all the way to one side and a little bit past the front sight. It's still usable. It's still zero. But that is the definition of mil spec in accordance with what the Bulgarians believe. For a $1,300 rifle, that's a little bit hard to stomach. I get it. Uh, most likely, I, I'm, since I know this rifle was a used rifle, has a low round count according to the previous owner. But looking at the at the tail of the bolt carrier, I don't know if I believe that or not. <clears throat> that being said, these rifle rifles will run forever. <clears throat> so the round count really is inconsequential to me until we start losing accuracy and then it's time for a new barrel. Um, since I've had it, like I said, I changed out the upper hand guard, the trigger group. I've swapped the, I guess, fish gill muzzle brake, which typically is really hard to get on, hard to get off. For just a regular Polish slant brake, uh, I can tell you that this is not the first time I've run into an issue with these rifles. 
of the front side detent getting stuck in the back. Uh, luckily, there was enough outside of the of the front side I could wiggle it loose until I could get some lubricating oil down inside of the rifle. Um, but anyway, uh, I took it to the range yesterday, and I'll I'll put in clips here and there uh, of actually shooting this rifle yesterday but it literally feels like I'm holding a nine pound weight out in front of my body uh, it's only an inch difference between intermediate length and Warsaw length but you could feel it <sighs> I guess it's exacerbated by the weight of the mill receiver in the barrel but other than that, I have no complaints. The rifle functioned, it was accurate. As long as I got it zeroed, it was, you know, probably roughly two MOA at 100 yards. The way it was shooting at 25, it was pretty good. Uh, I don't plan on carrying this rifle around. I'm waiting right now for my RD uh, build for my uh, Romanian G kit. Uh, that that's one I'll definitely be bumping around with. Uh, I did sell the underfolder. Uh, one of my friends that I had known for a while uh, came up and said, "Hey, you know, I really like that rifle. I'd like to own it." And he basically paid me what I paid for it: parts, everything, seventeen hundred dollars. So I broke even. That being said. Went ahead, paid for this rifle, pocketed the rest of the money, <sighs> and uh, put the rest towards some bills. But that being said, I really can't complain. Uh, there's been some thoughts about, since this rifle is so heavy, to actually do a front end conversion on it. But in my mind, I bought this rifle to be utilitarian-esque. So if nothing else, I'll just ch chuck a different stock on it. Maybe change it to wood like I like. And then add the front sight adjusted. Probably by uh, either Vince Knuckles at Mesa Kinetics. Or uh, <clears throat> if I have enough money, depending on my situation with the Navy. Uh, I might send it to RD. I don't know. Uh, that being said, let's take a look at the insides of this rifle. If I'm not speaking loud enough, I apologize. It's really rough to do this. Go ahead and take the mag out. Uh, right now, I'm definitely using uh, WPA Wolf in the black box. Uh, it does seem to, to be a little bit loaded not as hot as the military classic there's definitely an impact shift notice that uh, i noticed that in my in my uh sar one that i had but anyway uh if you'll notice here i cut down that spare dong grip that i had That'll probably go on the Romanian gun. Uh, I've been dicking around with this AAC muzzle brake, flash hider rather, <laughs> for a while now and have yet to use it on a rifle. Thinking about putting it on this one. Seems to match the decor. Anyway, you can tell this rifle has not been shot very much. But it's been enough, along with the fact that it is a milled receiver gun. It is very smooth. <laughs> Cannot complain. Um, if you guys like these videos, I'm going to go ahead and conclude at this point. If you guys like these videos, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'll keep putting this stuff out as long as I'm able. Um, I will try to get an update here soon about what's going on with me in the Navy. Uh, I can't say this much. 
openly that after more information and evidence coming out in my favor, um, I will not be going out easy. Um, I will make, I will, if they're going to put me out, they're going to have to work for it. So, and that's coming from a former uh, Master Chief. So I'm pretty excited about that. But anyway, you guys take care, and I'm glad to see you. Um, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you around.